My name is Chris, and welcome to the Camper Dan Files. Fragile. It's fragile. Very fragile. And then another treat in this little shipping bag here. I'm going to do this down and dirty, guys. I've been waiting for probably about three weeks to, to open all of this stuff. Um, the box that you guys see here, this actually came in first. This item was available here in the U.S. The uh, little bubble mailer there. That thing came from overseas. All will be revealed here in a few seconds. It's just like you guys. I'm dying to know what's in the box, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, we even got a couple of pieces of uh, newspaper here. <laughs> Oh, do you guys know what this is? Hmm? I'll give you a hint. It's super rare. <sighs> wow. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, cellophane <laughs> wrap off here. <laughs> We're going to get this wrap all removed. And then I'll bring you guys back and reveal our rare mystery item here. Stick around. Behold, the rarest unobtainium R50 part in existence. I give you the shifter boot. And this one, guys, it's perfect. I mean, everything is right where it's supposed to be. It's all here, guys. I have been wanting and needing one of these so bad, but you pretty much know <laughs> what this is. The jig is definitely up now, guys. So, in this box, we have a new shifter knob <laughs> check that out hmm? isn't that nice yeah guys this is stuff that I've been wanting and needing for my R50 for quite a while now um, especially the shifter boot and um, unfortunately the 5 speed for this generation of the R50 was only available for 2 years so 2001 to 2002 and in 2002 that was it they killed it after that everything was completely 100% automatic I had some other stuff going on with the truck too so this stuff is going in um, it is a work night for me as much as I'd love to tear into my truck now I'm gonna save on this for a few days and Obviously, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. It's not too terribly cold outside today, but I do have my space heater going here currently to keep things nice and toasty in the garage while we work on things. 
All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finally replace this uh, shifter boot and bezel. Um, we're not going to toss it. We're actually going to keep it because it is original to my R50. Try and clean up the rig a little bit, too. Really dusty in here. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. You're going to... Remove your ashtray. Remove your shifter knobs. So we're starting with the transmission shifter knob. Now we're doing the transfer case. Then you're just gonna stick your fingers, for me, down into where the uh, ashtray resides and just gently pull up. Oh, there you go. Ah. You're also gonna find a connector under here for your light feature for your um, ashtray. You'll need to unplug that as well. So we've unplugged it, as you can see. Set that down. Now it's just opening things up and getting them ready to slip into their new home. Again, you just want to be gentle with this. So now we're just taking our time and getting everything seated and snapped in here. Here's the final product. We still have some cleaning to do. I'm gonna hit this guy with some armor all. You see that there's remnants of dirt from the last R50. But um, yeah, I'm happy with it. It looks really good. I got a really good deal on this thing. Really, really good deal on it. And the only thing it needs is a little bit of cleaning. Not bad. I don't know if you guys can see that there. This crack here, the bottom of my mirror, that's something that I've been wanting to swap out for quite a while now. I actually just picked up a uh, replacement mirror a few days ago at the pick apart. And it's in pristine condition, so we're going to go ahead and swap it out. 
with this one. Glad I took my time with that one. I was trying to remember which direction this went. Sadly, while I was at the junkyard, I did break one of these prying at it. But um, when you go to slide it off, these tangs. So basically, you're going to put your two fingers here and press and slide it backwards towards you. That's how it comes apart. Now, I just got to grab a screwdriver and take out our screws here. So just bringing you guys a little closer into the action here. So there's your target. There's going to be three screws in here. There's two there, and then there's the third one there in the way back. One's positive engagement is verified and confirmed we go ahead and lock that feller down and put our plastic trim piece back in there and then we'll clean on our mirror and we're good to go the little things small yet satisfying Next thing we're gonna work on is our steering wheel cover. I'm kind of sad to be removing this thing, but it's been on here for a long time. It's actually split in half, almost. And I'll show that to you guys here later once I get everything taken off of the wheel. Oh, and it just split finally. Yeah, so it's done. It's done, so. Oh, the wheel is actually in really good shape under here. Hmm. Here we have one of our Christmas gifts, stand wheel cover. Just gonna go ahead and get this guy opened up. So everything's been nicely wiped down and gone over. There's our replacement mirror. There's our recently installed new shifter boot and trim bezel. We did clean up the uh, center console. I'm just glad that we now have a shifter boot that is 100% intact. My poor stickers finally being installed on my R50. Yeah, I've been sitting on these things since November of 21, guys. I just figured it was full time to go ahead and slap them on the truck. 
I still have a few more stickers to um, decide if I'm going to install or not. I kind of like this one. Man, <laughs> get it? This Campadan's all broken. Also have uh, some mile marker stuff. And I've been dodging some slaps somewhere. It's just in my line of sight. Where did you this picture? Oh. Here it is. So we'll be installing all of these. I'll bring you guys back once I map out where everybody's going to be living. Yeah. I really like this one, too. So there you have it, guys. Yep, that's everything. Thanks again for stopping by the Camper Dan Files. My name is Chris. If you've enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a like. And while you're at it, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep using your Pathfinder as a Pathfinder, on or off the pavement.